Hello, booze and ghouls, and welcome to Terry's True Paranormal Experiences. I would like, if I may, to take you along on a strange journey. This creepy true tale I call Lucy's House. One of my last apartments in Cumberland, Maryland, was in an old Victorian-styled house on Decatur Street. It was a two-bedroom apartment that I got along with a friend. We had had the second floor of the house along with access to the upper unremodeled part of the house that we decided to clean up and use also. The house must have been built before electricity was introduced because the wall showed telltale markings where the gas lighting used to hang in days gone by. The upper floor was dark with only one single hanging light bulb that lit the hall, stairwell, and any of the three rooms there if the doors were left open. There were two small ancient bedrooms and a third unfinished room for storage. The area was not only dimly lit, but also the ancient faded tattered wallpaper looked like it had been there since the house was built over a century ago. It was once probably the servants' quarters. We decided our best bet was the paint to lighten it up to make it livable. Since we both worked day shifts, the evenings were mainly the only time we had to work on it. Our first evening of painting started out smoothly. I started on the upstairs hall while my roommate started on the stairwell. We talked and joked as we painted, trying to ignore the stale smell of the abandoned area. All three doors were closed upstairs, but there was an eerie feeling in that area that I just attributed to the dimness and echo of our voices when we talked in the empty space. Suddenly the door to the storage space creeped open slowly. We both froze and watched it go. I thought that maybe it hadn't been closed properly, so I walked over to close it again. The door quickly slammed shut in my face. This unnerved me so much I decided to stop what I was doing, clean up my patent tools, and return to our main floor. That night the paranormal activity started on our main floor. Things would fly off the walls and shelves, accompanied by bangs and ghostly footsteps. Also that night, a kitten that I had just gotten the day before died unexpectedly. The following evening, I was still grieving over the loss and decided to wrap myself up into doing some more painting. That evening, we, we decided to bring along a radio to help cheer up the dismal atmosphere of the upstairs. All went well for a time, and I was starting to overcome my apprehension of the space when the sole light, light bulb began to flicker. The light switch at the bottom of the stairs clicked, and we were almost in complete darkness aside from what little light managed to filter up the stairs. Then, just as my friend Chris turned the light switch back on, the open door I heard opening suddenly slammed shut. I raced through the stairs, leaving the paint cans open and brushes still covered in paint. I decided to get another kitten the next day, and that evening, feeling happy and unfazed by the previous night's happenings, I set to work on painting the upstairs again. That night, all hell would break loose. It wasn't long before the doors started creaking open and slamming shut, the light flickering. At the same time, the door at the foot of the steps also slammed shut. Afraid of being stuck up there with whatever that was, I quickly retreated and decided to put painting on that story of the house on the back burner. The next day, the kitten stopped eating and became very ill. I took it to the vet, but it died the following night. My friend encountered one of the older local neighbors and told him of some of the experiences. The man said that the former owner of the house was a very nasty old woman named Lucy. I decided to try getting one more kitten. That one I named Lucy, and would you believe, it survived. From that point on, the apartment became easier to live in. The events in the apartment became less frequent, and when they did happen, we would just say, Sorry to bother you, Lucy, and it would stop. Although the top floor was never worked on again, and we moved out as soon as it became possible, from that point on, I became less afraid of the unknown. Well, thank you for joining me on this tale. And until next time, pleasant dreams.
Mwahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah